What up, everybody, and welcome to the new episode of the SVR podcast. Today we have independent rap artist. We knew him since、uh, SoundCloud. You know, if you wanted to check him on、uh, on the SoundCloud, the link will be on the description below as well. And、uh, his name is Daymar Black. Hello, fam. Welcome to the podcast. Hey man, thanks for having me. Yeah, fam, I'm glad that you you are here.、Uh, so I heard of you since the the whole SoundCloud thing that you drop songs like、uh, remixes, for example. Yeah, to like sort of party. Yeah, yeah. Either a party, yeah. So. Damar Black, all I have to do with you is asking you ten questions about your success and、uh, one of the video games that you have played a while back when he was like really, really that young, whatever. And、oh, okay, express your feelings about your career, and you have to answer them. I don't know if you want longer or shorter.、And、okay. We should start it with、uh, first question. What made you start and make your own music? Oh,、uh, you see, well,、I、had to start back in、uh, like sixth grade, I believe. Um, I was, you know, like every boy is like is to get the attention of a girl, so that's what happened with me. Damn. But um, a few years later, I believe it's um, eighth grade, my cousin got me on、um, FL, and I started producing my own beats. And、I really like got into it more, and like oh, I'm like oh snap! I can actually make patterns that, you know, people can actually rap on, and not just sound, random sounds put together. And then I kept listening to、um, Eminem's Relapse and Lil Wayne's Rebirth. Oh, so you got inspired by it? Yep, by those two. Like Eminem is a big influence for me for our、um, music. Definitely. So then you started to、uh, do rapping、uh, while about producing, and、uh, then you upload some songs、uh, yeah. in your cha- YouTube channel and on SoundCloud. When I first started, actually, like uploading, like making music and uploading was um, I only did it on SoundCloud. I only had one song at the time, I believe, and it was um my third performance on stage at school, which the song I put on SoundCloud with my homie、um, Rugged Rifter, who goes now by Pocano Perk. Yeah, me and him been we've been making music since high school, my senior year, his junior year, and now we um we formed a group. Well, he formed a group I'm a part of, EMIC. I still keep that with me. I say that on the On my new single, he's on with me. Doesn't matter how far we go, we still gonna keep repping that same team. We must keep each other together, so we, we yeah, we'll, we'll make sure you will not、uh, split each other. Nah, trying to bring everybody with me, trying to keep everybody I had with me stay with me. Yeah, man. Next question: How will you describe yourself musically that you usually do? What I usually do right now, I'm describing myself more as like um a scenario, emotional type rapper. Oh, so you like,、um, oh, so you oh, so you're more of meaningful shit. Yeah, like um, it's not like heavy like lyrically, but like heavy like deep, like um what I'm feeling like, um, you see. Like on、um, the single I showed, the single I、um, you reviewed. Ah,、uh, yeah. That one is、yeah. it's mostly about you know I'm just mostly rapping about my stages with with my ex, and that's what I'm feeling right now. Like I'm just doing like scenarios, like I'm I still do storytelling rap, but also like stuff that I've been through, but like um. More emotional, like I'm doing more melodic ways with it. Like you can probably even hear it on the、um, project I release in December. 
like I was doing like rapping in melodic with it. Yeah. I heard it. I could tell you had a lot of motions that you need to do when you recorded. Yeah, that that EP, it wasn't supposed to be the way it came out. It just that like I kept doing like um different takes and like okay, I keep talking about this same person. I'm gonna say I'm gonna just run with it. It's like it's from the first track to the last track, especially the last track has um a hidden track on it. Next question: um, Any albums? Okay. Uh, singles will be dropped this year. If he has, can you tell me when? I have a single dropping this month. I can never remember the single date. The only reason I can't remember because I keep changing it like to a different month. Okay, so my next single is dropping on the 23rd of this month. And hopefully I will be dropping the album sometime September or the end of this year, hopefully. Hopefully, it won't be like delayed. Yeah, cause I'm, dude, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like Quadeco right now when he was releasing his second album. Ah, uh, Sisyphus, the one. Uh, um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, from me to you. From me to you, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like that. That it might take a, a few more. Like it might take until next year. I really hope it doesn't because I really wanted to come out this year. It's just that um, I started kind of... I didn't start late. It's just that a whole lot of stuff just like happened. Like um, last year, I caught COVID. That kind of threw me back. But I still was able to record that EP. But I'm like, I still wanted to do this album. I didn't know where to go with the album until like I really... Um, like redid the first track and like I know I'm going with this I know the theme of the album now I know what the story is going to be so I'm good with that I just got to get um the beats done on my end because everything else is basically wrote it's just that you didn't uh, have time to record yeah it's just the recording time yeah because I just um I was waiting to get my new mic, which I have. That's what I've been using. I didn't use it on the single you reviewed, but it will be used on the updated version of that single. Hopefully. Once I get, man, like, I should have some time. I'm, I'm definitely recording this week. And I have, a, I have a song done on my end. I just have to get the features um, to come in. Which is a nice, it's a nice track. My cousin heard it and she heard part of it and she was like, I mess with the message. It was like, um, it's kind of, it's like a motivational song. So it kind of yeah. uh, motivated her. Yeah, she likes, she likes the song. All right. Next question. Who is your favorite rapper that you have been listening to a while back? Okay, what I, who I've been listening to a lot. Other than Eminem, Eminem's like my top, like, um, he's, he's up there for me. That's my favorite rapper. Like, um, the storytelling he does, all the weird, um, like, um, side, I can't even explain it sometimes. But like, are, are you um, talking about the alter ego side that he was like? Yeah. Yeah, the, the shady side. Like, I mess with that whole vibe. That's like, um... Shoot, um, I don't know if you heard my song Six Stars, but on that song I have like three three different verses on there in the hook. Mm. Different um, personalities. Is there any album that you have listened to by him? Oh yeah. I listened to, um I listened to all his albums from his first infinite to Music to be murdered by A and B side. I have, I bought Marshall Mathers LP too when it first dropped. Like that first week, I went and got that. And I'm planning to get the other ones, but um, Recovery is um, also one of my favorites. Relapse is one of my favorites from him. Like, um, 
not afraid from there is that's that's a nice song like especially to motivate somebody yeah and to work out too that's that song right there it got blew up really fast yeah and beautiful from um relapse that was another song for me i'm like especially if you listen to that in the album you're like this should be somewhere else from the way he was rapping on that and and the way he was talking about how you have to walk in his shoes to understand what is going on in his life. And I think uh, you also listen to Love the Way You Lie with Rihanna. Oh, yeah, that, that song right there. Shoot, that, me and my cousin, we all played that song. Every time. <laughs> we was playing that song while we was playing um video games, man. We just put music on and that song will come up on. That one in the version Rihanna did with him in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Monster. Yeah, Monster. Okay, okay. It was on the one with Rihanna in. Next question. Uh, favorite rap genre that you ever was born to get into? Now, I know you've been like young, young, but mm -hmm. I, I think you, you started to get sticking to old school shit. Right. Yeah. Okay. The one I was born into was really um in the late nineties, so I was around there. Like, I was born like the last year Pac was alive, Ooh. and so I was um coming off that. I didn't get into Pac music until my senior year of high school because my uncle gave me all his albums, and I'm like, bruh, I ran with his style a little bit, like trying to get like his. I even made a beat that sounded like something Digital Underground would make for him. Um, yeah, so like I kept like try to do like more old school. I even rapped on a Tupac beat in high school with um with my crew. Wow, wow. Yeah. So she so, and I used that song again. So he stick it to boom bap shit, right? To like you know old school. Yeah, yeah. Boom bap was my stuff, man. Even though I still don't have the cadence to really rock on a boom bat that straight for it yet. Yeah, but the the but yeah. the wordplay, it's it's like the old school era right now. Definitely. Yeah, I'm trying to get better with my wordplay and everything, but like I'm more like trying to like have. I'm still working on like metaphors and similes and all that, and doing like bars, but I try to really focus on like there's messages behind every line I do. Like if somebody would ask me what this mean, I'm like, I can break that down for you. Mm hmm For sure, for sure. Next question. Where did the name of Damar Black came up from in your <laughs> mind? And can you tell me why you actually think it was so well as your own rap stage name? Like I know you had a name called Mr. Black. You decided to replace mm -hmm. it with Damar Black. So why did you do that yeah. and why you think it will actually so well? Okay, so the reason why I changed my name to um, Damon Black was because my cousin, really. And I liked it more because it sounded like a real first name. And it was just a lot shorter than saying Mr. Black Damer. <laughs> and um, yeah, so and Damer I got from um, from another person that's in my group now who's been um, helping me with, with music. It was, um, you know, pronounced D-A-Y for mayor, like a nightmare, but it happens in a day type stuff so the reason um daymare black fits me and my music is because it's still like um it's a light name but it also has a dark meaning too like um asian name a little bit if you ever um watch like um anime or cartoons that have anime themes they can also be pronounced die like may and my Mm. And then, like, I say it's a lot darker, um, because I'm a little, like, right now, I'm a little dark and e emotional, so that's how my music gonna come off a little bit. And a little bit can be a little bit, um, cocky. I try not to be too cocky with my music or braggadocious or, like, stuff. But, like, that's how my name kind of fits right now. Oh, yeah. And Black is actually my last name, so that's why Black is there. Yeah, I mean, you replace it with, you replace it, Mister, with Dame. 
yeah, I mean, it makes sense now because I think <laughs> the the Mr. Black Dave uh, it didn't even like sue your your personality or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I wasn't feeling anyone, man. And I got tired of people misspelling Mr. so much. <laughs> like, I sent one of the dudes I was working with, my full name, like, spelled out. He still put MR. I'm <laughs> like, bruh, you. So I'm like, I, I had to change it. I got tired of doing it because it also made me feel like I was like a teacher or something like that. So I didn't, I didn't want that as a monocle. Yeah, I'm glad that your name is Damar Black. Because it was, it yeah. would actually so well with the rap stage name and with the personality. Next question: What are your future plans? Have you actually planned one in your mind? If yes, can you tell me it? Yeah. Um. So, my future plans right now, I'm. It's really, I'm really just focused on um the album, but I'm. My future plans is to like get bigger, like on with like people know me for my production know me for my music and know me for my graphics i'm trying to get those really out there like i'm trying to do more graphics for um artists again trying to um do posters for like um film crews upcoming movies indie movies uh -huh. it will be hard to like uh be a movie actor no i'm not trying to do um not that um <laughs> i'm trying to do um artwork for them like, yeah, I, I have a long way to go for, like, trying to be an actor. Now I'm just trying to do, I like doing behind the scenes stuff or um, behind the camera work anyway. I mean, that's all, that's I, mean all I, I mean, you're still not up there yet. You're still yeah. in there. And, like, yeah. medium, whatever. You're still reaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, my f plan is to, like, um, I just, I just got on um, on my label for my um, for my disputer for music. I have an album, not my album, but it's um another guy I'm working with, Still Bars. His album drops later this month under my label, Black Crimson, and I'm trying to build that up. Like um, I have three other artists who's about to drop singles on there too. Definitely. So I'm trying to build that label up. I mean, you're going to label soon? Yeah. I've been trying to do this for a while, man. Like, um, since high school. I've been, I had to change the name so many times because there was um, band names after it. Even though I checked beforehand, they just started popping up out of nowhere now. So I changed the name. And the name really had a cool meaning to it. Next question. Favorite nostalgia video game that you played a while ago? And why do you love it so much when you was playing it? Like, why? Uh, shoot, the only game that really comes to mind um, is Need for Speed Underground 2. I haven't played it in a while because the one I have is messed up. But, like, um, I play a lot of Need for Speed games. But Need for Speed Underground 2 was my first ever car game, I believe. It was like, this is like before, um, I think, I want to say Fast and Furious. This is why I got into it, because it, it was about racing underground, doing like, this stuff, yeah. like at night. Dwayne Johnson. Uh, this, yeah. Yeah. It was just like, I just like that. I used to like fast cars like that. Like um, when I was a kid, we used to just race around the um, neighborhood. Yeah, we was cruising around. <laughs> Yeah. Um, next question. What is your creativity process like? That's tough. <laughs> now that one's tough. Um, yeah, but you can yeah. say it anyway. Um, you see, it's it's a bit weird sometimes. Like, um, I can I can write a full song to no beat, and then go get a beat to fit the lyrics that I wrote, and um. End up and change up how I would deliver um, the verses and the hooks. And if it's the other way, like if I'm making the beat, I do it. Um, I learned this from my professor is to do it like a part producer and make the beat 
And while I'm working on the beat, I will write like um freestyle to get like the meaning or the theme of the song, and then just go to the part where the hook is and keep playing that over and over to find out what the lyrics and the melody would be. And then I'll finish up most of the beat while I'm still writing. And when I'm writing, I'm like, oh, okay, I want to change up in the beat here. So I'll check this part out while I'm still in the production mode of the beat. So, so far, are you still in the same position, right? What do you mean? Like, the way you rapping and the way you just deliver. Actually, no, my um, my rapping style has changed a little bit more. Like, um, like I'm trying to find out my own, like, signature, like, way I would deliver something or have my verse. Like, um, you see, like the one I did for your song. Yeah, yeah. That was, that's, that's the way I rap on majority of my EP with, um, with backup melodies in there. Yeah, definitely. That's how. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm trying to bring that style back a little bit because I'm like, I actually like that. I wish I would have did that on my last feature with on Solo. Yeah, I mean, because I didn't do it on there. Yeah, I mean, it would have sounded like better if if it wasn't like okay, maybe it did sound like that, but maybe you just didn't have a good time to brought it back. Yeah. Cause it was a laid back song to me. I thought it was more focused on like, um, like he was going for most of a vibe. I was going for a message a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw how you rhyme. Mine was more about, um, kind of be unapologetic to people who say they're royals, but have shown none of that same respect to other people. So that was, what I was going for on that. So I didn't do, um, I didn't do my layering, my dubs at all. I just did rap through it. Like I did, a, I did a weird mixing technique with it where he didn't have to mix like on um, uh, ad libs. Yeah. yeah, the ad libs and the uh, uh, how you you put the, a lot of reverb into it. Yeah, no, no, that was that was him. He did the mixing on that. So like, um, I just sent him like a straight audio file file of my rap, but uh, with my ad libs connected in there. Like when I record it, like. I record like four bars at a time. So every time I did a four bar, there was space, I would do an ad lib and then I'll start rapping. Yeah, like you was about to go down. I'll just say something like that would rhyme or I would just do a uh, chant, I think. That's what I did on, on that one. Yeah, I mean, basically, I was to a song. basically, you go with rhyming, then you start to say some real shit before you go to the next one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do like that. I try to make sure all my stuff rhyme. Like, um, there'll be times where I'll be like, I say, a, I say two lines. I'm like, oh, they, they work. Then I go back and I'm like, hold up, these two things don't rhyme. So I would spend like hours trying to figure out how to rhyme those two, two lines together. Yeah, I mean, the wordplay, um, the references you put in, it, it would like, it yeah. would, uh, actually could connect uh, the scheme. Yeah. And oh man, like, and now I'm showing more of my personality with my um, later stuff, like um how much I'm in like I'm into, I'm into anime, so I'm actually started writing bars around like certain characters and their theme of they show, and I'm kind of hoping people will get that because it's on my um it's on the this new single I just finished that's dropping the eight in August, so I hope people will get that um reference and what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, I'm getting better with on um, like doing like messages or like um metaphors, I guess. I mean, and, you, um, you do your thing, it. fam. No matter. Oh yeah, shoot. Like um, like I said, like the one I'm dropping this month, I let um King One hear it. He's like, "Oh, you rapping? You ain't saying you rapping on this?" Because like all like um, I'm doing like in my first verse. There's so many, there's two different, um, like, meaning for certain things I'd be saying. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait for you to hear this, actually, man. Yeah. Because people, people don't look at it differently, because I let my mom hear it. She's like, oh, so that's what you're doing? I'm like, no, there's a whole different meaning behind what I just said here.
It's a nice song too. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Sometimes when you be able to control your voice and when you're singing, you have to like, you know, do not get forced or for a note. Mm-hmm. That one I the one I sent you. Yeah, that was um shoot. I mean it was done on I purpose. Know, part was it was it was weird for me to do the singing for the verses. But when I did the hook and on um, the bridge, because I did those, I did the hook and the bridge later. Because um, my voice was on, um, like I went, my voice went into shock after doing um the verses. Yeah, but, the notes, dude. <laughs> yeah, those. There are like um, especially since I wasn't doing um the singing technique, I was um I learned back in high school. I wasn't doing that technique, so I was just really singing everything from my throat. And it's and that's was as bad. There are some parts so, like, that you could have done better, but the parts are just all right now. Yeah, at least they are in the in the right yeah. note. But like I'm saying, like um, we, I'm doing a new version of it, a oh, whole new mix with um Cash Twenty Two, so it's gonna sound better and different. Right. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, but my the next thing I'm doing is really I'm doing I'm really just rapping. The only time I'm doing melodic is on my ad libs or my um dubs. Uh, and the final question of the day is: What is your advice to the upcoming independent rappers? Now I know you have heard some of them, mm-hmm. so can you give them advice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like um, shoot, for like um, for your voice, because I, I know like a lot of us mostly like um. We reading lyrics from our phones or off um our notepads and paper. Yeah, notepads. Like you, it's really doing, easy to read it. Yeah, if you're doing that, remember it's not. Don't just read your lyrics. Actually, like feel what you're saying. Add emotion to it, like peaks and valleys. That's what my uncle kept telling me when he was teaching me how to do this stuff. He's like, don't just read it. Add emotion to it change up your arm, like how you would pronounce stuff or how you would say it to make it like um sound like you actually in that moment instead of you sound like a robotic monotone <laughs> person <laughs> bro dude you didn't we spent hours on um recording a song for my performance and it was like dead at night and we we was both just tired i'm like bruh <laughs> I'm gonna just do the best I can right now, and when I perform it on on stage, I have more energy. But like that's all I'm saying. Just remember, like when you rapping, it's all about how you sound. So as you gotta add some swag if you if you don't really have it in your natural voice, try to change it up. Like listen to some of your favorite rappers. Some of them don't sound like how they talk when they rap. That's how you gotta remember that. Mm-hmm. Like it's like another like language a little bit like a accent you put on. Uh, yeah, the relapse. <laughs> oh gosh, you can do you can do relapse or you can do. Dang, it's like the two extremes. You can do relapse or you can do Wayne. Wayne. When he's. Oh um, yeah, like Lil Wayne. Yeah, he was. You can do him. that when he has a. He has that auto tune on. You can go that far, or you can do. Um, it depends what type of person or what type of song you're making. Uh-huh. If you're doing like a vibe trap song, you can go what uh, you can go with. Um, you see, what Lil Uzi Vert does or what Thug does, like one of those two lanes. Change your voice up. Just have fun with the um, with the material you're working with. Um, any last words before you wrap it up? Well, that's it, guys. You can follow me on Spotify on all platforms under Daymare Black. It's D A I R. I mean, my bad, dang. M A R E, Daymare Black. Make sure to check him out. Yeah, you... Follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. SoundCloud, definitely. And on YouTube. Yep. Yeah.
make sure to Thanks check for having me man yeah make sure to check us and i will see you guys in the next episode of the SBR podcast bye